Oh, hey guys, so uh, recently I decided to purchase the next percent. So, um, yeah, let's get right into the unboxings. But before we do, I don't think every single shoe reviewer puts emphasis on the box and how beautiful it is. So, <laughs> I thought I might, might as well showcase it. So, got a nice big matte black tick and it says Nike Zoom X, which is the foam that they use in the shoe. It also says measured in the lab verified with metals and records which is pretty nice and that's very true actually we have the time graphic at the back which is also kind of cool and the final thing i wanted to say is that the next percent are unisex so they actually have the males and female size on the same box because anyone can wear it all right now we're going to open up the next percent so uh here we go guys and today I'll be making a video on the Vaporfly Next Percent. So if you haven't heard of the Vaporfly Next Percent already, you've probably been living under a rock. Not that there's anything wrong with living under a rock. I kind of want to live under a rock one day. And I assume that most of you would have, but for the 0.5% of you watching this video that don't know what the hell that is, it is the best road racing shoe that has ever been made with the exception of the Alphaflies which came out like a month ago. Nevertheless, it's still one of the best shoes that's ever been made and it's definitely a shoe that's completely changed the game of running forever. When it first came out, so many people bought it. It's such a ridiculously priced shoe but people still buy it because it's such a game-changing shoe for running and if you want to go for personal best times and stuff like that, it's just an amazing shoe to have in your collection. And in like 10 years time, we'll be looking back at like 2019, 2020 and talking about how this shoe changed the shoe game forever. I mean, the four racing shoes were known to have less of a stack height, but you can see how thick the mix is in the shoe. And I'm just so glad I get to be part of history as one of the people that have owned these shoes. And don't get me wrong, so many people own these shoes, but they are gonna sell out one day and you're not gonna be able to get them one day and it's already getting to the point where it's super hard to get this shoe so I'm surprised that I managed to get this in a store which is actually insane but yeah, I don't know, I'm just so excited to race in these so what I have in mind is that I'm going to do a 5k time trial and a 10k time trial in these shoes and then hopefully by the time I'm done with both of those time trials it will be race season again and I would have an opportunity to race in these shoes which I simply cannot wait for. But yeah, as you know, these shoes don't last that long and therefore I really have to be selective on what rungs to use these in and that's why I'm not going to use them. Sorry. And that's why I'm not going to use these in any training sessions and you know, it's going to be rare when I wear these. But without further ado, I want to get more people involved in this channel and I have a friend called Steven. He runs a 15 minute 5k and a 32 minute 10k I believe. So he's an absolute beast and he already has experience wearing these shoes in some races such as doing a 231 marathon at the Blackmore Sydney Running Festival which is an insane time uh, for a person at his age I think he's 22 or 3 correct me if I'm wrong but as I said I want to get more people involved in the channel so let's hear his opinions on this shoe and yeah let's get right onto that Hey guys, for those of you who don't know me my name is Steven and for those of you who do know me my name is Still Steven. I'm a road marathon runner and trail ultra runner who's been doing long distance running for almost 12 years now. And the shoe that I'm going to be reviewing today is... The shoe I'm reviewing today is the Nike Zoom X Vaporfly X%. Now I really love the design of this shoe. I mean just look at it! It's got this really cool asymmetrical shoelace design off to the side. And what that does is it takes pressure off the top of your foot and combined with the heel collar in the back there, it really locks your foot into the shoe. So when I'm running in it, it feels super secure and it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall off at all. So what's the secret behind what makes this shoe so fast? 
There's several things. Firstly, the shoe is incredibly lightweight. It only weighs 200 grams. That's because the upper is made of this really thin vapor weave water resistant material. Uh, that's allowed Nike to add even more Zoom X foam, which returns more energy that a runner puts into it. Secondly, there's this full length carbon fiber plate that runs along the length of the shoe, making it snappy and responsive, as well as an 11 millimeter stack height difference between the heel and the forefoot. And that means that every time the shoe hits the ground, it gets rolled onto the forefoot, ready to launch into the next stride. Moving on to a quick pros and cons list. This is an incredibly fast racing shoe and Nike claims it will increase your performance by four to 5%. This is a claim that's been substantiated by thousands of runners who have achieved personal best times wearing these shoes. From my own experience, I can say I've been able to achieve a number of personal best times wearing these shoes from short distances like the mile and the 5k all the way up to the marathon. If Elliot Kipchoge was a shoe, this would certainly be it because these are undisputably the fastest road racing shoes you can buy on the market. Speaking of buying, let's talk about the cons list. The next percents come with a huge price tag of $320, which is far beyond what most people would expect to spend on a pair of running shoes. Yet despite this, often the shoes are out of stock in the market due to high demand. Another drawback is, due to being so lightweight, these shoes aren't designed for durability and would likely only last 400 to 500 kilometers worth of mileage before it's time to change them. And with such a high cost associated with replacing them, these shoes will never be used for your everyday 5k jogs, limiting their use only to the most important of race days. So my final verdict would be, these shoes are not for everyone. Ultimately, you're paying for a premium level shoe, and the price tag is only justifiable to the most passionate of runners dedicated to unlocking their full potential with this peak performance shoe. Thanks guys for listening to my review of the Nike ZoomX Vaporfly Next Percents. Ciao!